In this video, I'm going to show you multi-band distortion in Reaper. Now the concept of multi-band distortion is we can distort just certain frequencies of our tracks. This is useful for just about any instrument that's mostly full frequency. I probably wouldn't use this on electric guitar, but it works really well on bass, piano, drums, and especially vocals. And that's what we're going to use it on in this video. But just remember, you could use it on anything. So the track set up here with some vocals and a loop and some guitars. Let's hear it. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. So we're going to add some multiband distortion to the vocal. And if we go to the vocal track, we'll see. I already have some effects on it. I have a compressor, an EQ, a couple of delays, and a reverb. And we're going to put this effect in between the EQ and the delay. Now, if you don't have any effects on your track, just create one to use as a dummy effect. As you'll see in a bit, we're going to run this effect in parallel, and it needs to have an effect to run in parallel too. But to make this simpler, let's put these effects in containers. I'm going to select my compressor and EQ, right click, and move the effects to a container. And do the same with the delay and reverb. Just to organize them better so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to hit F2 to rename this container, compressor and EQ, and name this one delay and reverb. And now I'm going to create another container, right click, add container and move it in between these two. So now the effect will come after the compressor and EQ and before the delay and reverb. And I'm gonna add a distortion plugin to this container. Now it doesn't matter what plugins we choose, could be some Reaper ones or a third party one, just use your favorite distortion plugin or saturation or overdrive, anything that distorts the track. And I'm gonna choose this one, double click it, change the channel mode, to stereo, and let's hear the vocal. I'm so beautiful without you. That's pretty distorted. Now I'd like to control the volume after the distortion with a separate plugin. So I'm going to add a volume plugin right after the distortion to adjust it after it's distorted. I'm so beautiful. And after we run this in parallel, we can adjust the parallel effect with this volume control. But now we want to limit the distortion to just work in a certain frequency. And we'll do that with an EQ. I'll use re EQ. We'll put it first before the distortion. And let's delete all the bands except for one. Make it a high pass. We'll make another one a low pass. And one more as a parametric filter, which we could adjust, make this bigger, just the frequency we wanted to store. Let's hear it now. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like blue. Let's try it on the low end first, around here. I'm so beautiful. We can adjust the low end and the top end, so we're just focused on this frequency. Now, obviously, it's unintelligible. When we run it in parallel, we could hear it clearer, as you could bring back the higher frequencies from the dry sound that are not distorted. Let's name this container and right click it. And let's run this container in parallel. So now it's in parallel to the previous effects, which we can adjust with a volume right here. I'm so beautiful. This is the effect bypassed. I'm so beautiful. We could bring up our distortion right here. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my 
And notice the distortion is only affecting the low end, just the frequency we set up over here, because we're running it in parallel. So the normal vocal sounds like this. I'm so beautiful. But with the distortion, it sounds like this. I'm so beautiful. So it's a more focused distortion, just focusing on the lower end. But now let's try it on the mid-range. Let's turn off making it parallel so I can hear it more clearly and readjust the EQ. Let's make it parallel again, just the volume. I'm so beautiful without you. Here in the track. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. And again, just focused on that upper mid range for the distortion. And now, we could automate the volume if we want. Something like this. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Or we could pan it so the distortion is only in the left speaker. I'm so beautiful. Or the right speaker. I'm so beautiful without you. And we could automate that as well. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Now let's try it on the top end. Take it out of parallel. And readjust our EQ to just focus on the top end. I'm so beautiful without you. So it just distorts the breathiness of the vocal. Make it parallel again and adjust the volume over here. I'm so beautiful. And again, we could automate it or just put it in one speaker. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Now let's try a different distortion. Let's delete this and instead, let's try the wave shaping distortion, which will sound Pretty different. Let's change the EQ back to the mid range, something like this. Turn parallel off, and let's hear this effect. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty without you. Make it parallel again, and let's hear it in the track while we blend in the volume. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. And again, we could automate this. I'm so beautiful. Pan it to the left. I'm so beautiful without you. Or the right. I'm so beautiful without you. Now my skin glows and it shines like glue. I'm pretty.
quit it without you. So doing it this way, we can really filter our distortion and just have it focus on very specific frequencies. And again, this will work for drums, bass, piano, but especially for vocals. As so you can really focus on the type of distortion we want for that vocal. So that's pretty much it. That's multiband distortion in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.